Hey, thank you all so much, guys. Uh, there is a group of young ladies that was in the little green room over there, and they will attest to this. Right before chapel started, I tried to leave. I was going to run away, and they stopped me to come in. I was real nervous to be here, so thanks for letting me come up here, y'all, and thank you to the three ladies that stopped me. My favorite things, y'all, uh, this is a new series, and uh, I was a little kind of not sure how to begin. I wrote down a list of all the things I love, and uh, most of them, Mr. Decker would say, are not appropriate, like guns, four-wheelers, hunting toys, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I wrote this whole list down, and in fact, I jotted a few up here, and it turns out that none of the things I wrote really matter. Um, guitars, I do have quite the guitar collection. If any of y'all ever bump into me at my house, you'll see I've got some beautiful Gibsons, some Martin guitars. I've been collecting them since I was about 12 years old. Um, my garden beds, I grow the best vegetables you've ever had, the hottest peppers, the best garlic, but tools, hunting, all that, none of that really matters, y'all. I don't know, I had to kind of tear that list up and start over, and I started thinking, if these are my favorite things, what, who am I to those things? And then I started digging deeper, and I got three things that are absolutely wonderful, and if you'll put that up there, my first favorite thing is you all. I absolutely love everybody in this room. And uh, it's a joy to be able to come to work every day. Appreciate that. <laughs> Even you, buddy. Um, it's kind of a weird job as an assistant principal. Uh, I'm technically like in charge of discipline and all those things, but I don't really look at it like that. I look at it as I get paid to come get to know y'all. And I literally get to figure out who you are as people and find out the things that y'all love and try to help you reach your goals. And that's a unique job. I've made a lot of money in my life, but it's never been making relationships and hanging out with cool people. It's usually just work. So this has been a special, special gig. Um, the other thing that's very, very important to me, and it's definitely one of my favorite things, is my salvation. It's probably a weird thing to say, but that faith component is very, very, very important to me. Um, it's kind of hard to understand sometimes when you think of the term born again. That's like a weird thing to say. Old Nicodemus was trying to figure that out too. And he, as a Pharisee, wanted like some evidence and some different things like that. He wanted to understand this. And Jesus kind of really broke it down pretty simple. He said, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And again, I think Nicodemus was scratching his head. That's a hard thing to unpack. I think when we look at salvation and being born again, it might be better to kind of think of it less as like a physical birth and more of just like the old me and the new me. And if we look at what Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians in his letters, he really broke that down and separated the two. Uh, therefore, if anyone in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. And this might be a shocker to y'all, but probably at about the age 18 or something like that, kind of like senior's age, I was a punk. I had a bad attitude. I had long hair. I had a couple earrings, which that doesn't make it bad. But I did have some earrings. You can seal the holes up here. Um, I had a bad attitude, and I love to uh, challenge people, sarcasm, couple of bad fist fights. Sorry, Mr. Decker. Had some problems. Uh, and I really didn't like myself. I also kind of ran away once I got to college from like, my dad was a pastor, so I was in church my entire life, but I kind of ran away from that, and I really couldn't get back until seeing this verse one day. I was actually um, at a church, and this verse was in the message, and I remember thinking like, yeah, I don't like myself. There's horrible things about me I want to change, and I get the opportunity to do that through my faith. So my faith is pretty important to me because I got to stop the things that I didn't like. And there's a, three things in particular I hated about myself. I didn't really have very good integrity. Y'all know what integrity means? It's kind of like doing the right thing when nobody's around, like nobody. Nobody will ever know if you do the wrong thing. Well, that's something I really didn't have very good of. Probably the next biggest issue I had, or, or thought I had anyway, was uh, what I would call reputation. Not so much like, is he cool or not cool, not that kind of thing. I'm talking about, can you count on this person? If you call this dude, will he help you? I, maybe that was a 50-50 for me at that age, and I didn't like that. The worst of all, though, and this is the thing that slapped me in the face, was my character. 
this is crazy, y'all. Everybody has character. It doesn't matter if it's good, bad, neutral, whatever. Everybody has character. It's the decisions we make repeatedly under pressure. That's who you are as a person. You can be as nice and as kind and as cool or whatever you want to be, but at the end of the day, when the pressure is on you, how you react is who you are. Man, you can't really run from that. That will slap you right in the face, and it hit me too. And I decided that I didn't like the old rain, and I was going to do something about it. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, I'm saved. I don't have to do a whole lot. I have a whole new opportunity to decide who I want to be. And I have spent the last 25, 30 years, whatever it's been, trying to develop better integrity, a better reputation, and having better character. Because I think that's super, super important. And quite honestly, that's the new me, right? I don't have to live in the old ways. Does that make sense to everybody? Kind of. It's kind of cool. I think character is one of those things that you can change. Like nobody can just tell you what your character is. You get to be the author of who you are. And that's the most exciting and my favorite thing about salvation and my faith. Now the third thing I love is hardcore. My favorite thing, number three, is controversy. I absolutely love controversy. As a college professor, y'all, every lecture I would start with some ridiculous quote something that didn't make sense, something that would make people squirm a little bit, get them out of their comfort zone. And so I'm going to do a little controversy today, y'all. I'm doing something brand new. It might be a new tradition. We'll see. I'm going to sit in this old chair right here. We're going to answer some questions. Q&A with Flores. Any question goes, any topic, as long as it's appropriate, and we'll answer anything absolute with full honesty. And... Uh, <laughs> Keep it appropriate, and I promise to be honest, up until the point I get fired. Please don't fire me. Yes, ma'am. Actually, Mr. Langley and Ms. Martinez are going to come around, and they're going to field questions, and they're going to uh, shoot them up here, y'all. <laughs> I see some hands already popping up. This is going to be awesome. Maybe start yours off while we're waiting. Yes, ma'am. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say a hot dog is on a bun and it ain't no sandwich. All right. Looks like Mrs. Martinez and I think Mr. Langley should be floating around here. We have a question right here for you. Does pineapple go on pizza? Does pineapple go on pizza? I got to stand up, y'all. That is my favorite pizza in the whole world, pineapple on pizza. <laughs> All right, we got one back here from the sixth grade. Go ahead, buddy. How bad is Disney getting? <laughs> How bad is Disney getting? You got to say that again, brother. How bad is Disney getting, as in the world of Walt Disney, the, the company, the corporation? How bad are they? How, how bad is it? Yeah. It gets pretty hot in Florida. I'd say it's upwards of 100 degrees. <laughs> I think Nolan Carroll's got a hot question over here. Hey, Nolan, run up here. Run up here and go to Miss Martinez. Thank you for taking your hood off. <laughs> Who's your favorite student? Oh. Oh, man, this is hard, guys. Um, we go back a long ways, Nolan, you and I, and you're definitely one of my favorites, that's for sure. I love saying hi to you every morning. Um, there's a group of kids, actually, that started uh, with me when I started in seventh grade. We had this thing called advisories, and we had pizza parties. And I actually got in trouble for my principal at the time for having too many parties. Uh, Micah, where are you at? Pizza party advisory. We had such a good time in there. Lots of money went to pizza that year. Um, man, I can't answer that, y'all. I'm just going to be honest. All of you are my favorites. I know that's cheesy, but... Uh, 
All right, we got one over here, Flores. Why can't we wear shorts at school? <laughs> That's a fantastic question. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll say it's not just shorts. It's, it's like sweatpants and stuff like that. The powers that be, the great thinkers above us, they tell us that you will dress for success and they want y'all to succeed and uh, that is why they don't allow that. Plus, a lot of people got hairy legs. It's real bad. Yes, sir. I've got a question right here for you. How old are you? Wow. That's a low blow, ma'am. Low blow. Thank you. Uh, 44 years old, y'all. Born in 1978. in Arlington, Texas. Ready? Can we start a petition to wear hats at school? I think he said, can we start a petition for that? Heck yeah, absolutely. Um, I tell you guys, there are like two or three things every year we look into, and that's been on the list for the last couple, and we're gonna look into it again this year, so. Um, tell you what, buddy, I'm going to challenge you, Mr. Helzer, work on that petition next semester and get it to my desk, man. I want to see a lot of names. All right. Uh, now for something completely different. Can only baptized people baptize people? Wow, that is an amazing good question. You know, I think that's going to... Um, that may be slightly past my sort of hermeneutical education on that, but I will say, sir, that, um, yeah, we're going to get back with Mr. Short on that. We will email you back that answer. I honestly don't know. But I do know John the Baptist is sort of a great example of that. I'm going to research that when I get out of here. Thank you for stumping me. We have a question right here. Do you pour milk before cereal or cereal before milk? Do you pour milk before cereal or cereal before milk? Oh, man. So I think I'm doing this wrong. I actually hate cereal. I don't eat it. Um, but the few times that I do, I like to put my cereal in first because... <laughs> I have OCD really bad, and my brain doesn't like to go the other way on that. All right, Mr. Flores, I don't understand this question, but I'm, I'm assuming oh. that you will. Uh, what do you think about the legendary freshman retreat from all those years ago? It was bad. The legendary freshman retreat. Oh, man. That was such a blast, guys. The, the last freshman retreat, there were some kids that decided to, uh, I don't know what you call this, like mattress racing. They were going downstairs on mattresses, and then... They had this game that if you drop water out of a pitcher thing, and let's say it's 16 ounces, is it still 16 ounces when it hits the other pitcher three stories below? That's not why we got rid of that, by the way, but uh, I hope we do bring that back. And if we do, I want to go back to Sheboygan. That was a lot of fun. I have a scientific question for you. <clears throat> is the world flat? So there's a very small group of people that think Elvis is still alive. <laughs> okay, maybe that one's true. Um, and they think the earth is flat. And I got to tell you, uh, yeah, don't talk to none of them people. All right, now we're back into the realm of theology. Yes. Uh, this is a question from Donis. Is hell the absence of God's presence or just the presence of God's absolute wrath? Wow, that is a deep question. I have something to say about that, actually. Absolutely, any type of darkness is the absence of light. Like, you can see that from a scientific thing, but you can also see that just any time you get rid of God, you have evil. That, like, that's, a, that's a fact. I um, also think hell is a real place, though, Hades. I don't think it's, like, symbolic in that sense. I really do believe that's a real lake of fire. And so uh, that is no place God could be. 
he could not be there because it is a place that's not pure. And so I would say it's absolutely um, the absence of God. Next question. This is probably a common question, but do you believe there were ever dinosaurs on the ark with Noah? Oh, my goodness. I've actually thought about that a lot. I do a lot of late-night YouTube watching, and um, actually this year I've been watching a lot of videos on new evidence that's come out. And I personally don't. I think the dinosaurs were already checked out. Um, but, man, there's so much more I want to know about the ark. I really do. And how they fit two of every kind on there. Can I give you three rapid fire? Yes, sir, rapid and fire. And you, you take them in any order that you want. So Jansen wants to know how much you can bench. Grant would like to know if we can have a boys volleyball team. Apparently some other people want to know that too. And then Dakota asked if you believe in unicorns. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Uh, I'm gonna do them backwards. There is a unicorn out there. It's called a rhinoceros. Um, it's really, really neat. Their horns are worth a lot of money. Um, as far as a boys volleyball team, I can't wrap my head around that. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I will put it this way, if y'all want to do that, we better get some girls on the football team, though. It's got to be some fairness there. So. Uh, what was the first question again? How much can you bench? Oh, I actually cannot bench. I have a wrist injury. I have to do chest flies. But uh, I don't know, man. Let's go to the strength room and find out. Um, how many pairs of socks do you have? Oh, wow. Thank you for that, actually. I just ordered some new heavyweight thermal socks for hunting. I'm going to have 12 pairs of heavy socks for winter. I'm so excited. Thank you. Okay, sort of kind of related to socks. Actually, not at all. Uh, should the Christian church be able to get involved in secular issues, and if so, which ones? Should Christian churches be involved with secular issues, and which ones? I don't think you can really separate how a church would um, handle things, because I think that according to the New Testament scripture, the church is supposed to handle a lot of things. And so, yeah, I do think they should be involved in certain things and helping their parishioners. As far as which ones, I think it's real situational. I will say this, young lady, I don't think the church ought to tell anybody about politics or stuff like that. It's just my opinion. That one I don't really like. Next question. Um, where do you get your southern accent from, and then how do you know how to speak Spanish? Where's your southern accent from, and how do you know how to speak Spanish? Well, sir, when you're born in Texas, you don't get a southern accent. You're a Texan. So, yeah, I got it from Texas. As far as where did I learn Spanish, it's really hard to live in rural Texas without speaking Spanish. And uh, a lot of, I watched a lot of soap operas and listened to a lot of Spanish music so I could learn it better. Uh, and my dad uh, showed me a lot once he decided to teach me. But uh, it's, a, it's a Texan thing. Um, Simon, you, Simon has an interesting one. <laughs> what is the most pointless school subject? What is the most important school subject? Pointless. Oh, this is going to sound kind of weird because I probably am not a science guy, but science is the only way to purify truth from an intellectual standpoint. Um, Just follow-up question. Um, technically, his wording was most Pointless. I'm sorry? Most pointless. Oh my what goodness, is, pointless. So it is the least important. Oh man, I said subject. that wrong. Uh, science is my most important. The most worthless class, and uh, maybe you shouldn't worry about it, would be uh, oh my goodness. I'm about to make a teacher very mad right now. Um, uh, what? He says geometry, and since I had a problem with that too, geometry it is. Sorry, Miss Klinkner, sorry. Geometry is important, I'm just not good at it. I have a food-related question for you. Uh, what's your favorite place to get fried chicken? <laughs> for fried chicken? You know, Malik, I, 
this is weird, dude, but there's not really good fried chicken in Wisconsin. And so I tend to go to uh, Chester's Chicken at a gas station. That's the best chicken I found up here. It's so good. I have two questions over here real quick. Another one about food. Rapid have fire. Have you been to Portillo's and if so, is it, is it good? Have I been to Portillo's? Absolutely. The, uh, the steak and sausage combo is out of control, out of control. I got another quick question right here. Do you think it's too early to play Christmas music? I do. John, I do. But the sad thing is, I was singing a Christmas song in the hall today, so I broke my own rule. Apparently, it's very contagious. All right, over here to your left, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, this uh, is going to be good. Uh, thoughts on Kanye. <laughs> Wait, say it again. Thoughts on Kanye. Rock on Kanye? Thoughts. Oh, thoughts what on Kanye. What are your thoughts on Kanye? Um, dude, thank you for that. That's actually a tough question. Um, I like ye. I think he's a cool dude. Um, I was a little confused when he started having these church services and revivals. I've never been to one, so I don't fully understand uh, what the message is. So I, I hate to really like say it's good or bad. But I will say that um, he's very polarizing and an exciting figure to watch. And uh, he's got some cool shoes, man. My, my kid likes his shoes, too. I have three questions for you. Favorite KFC meal, favorite musical that CLS Theater has done, and what was the other question? Bears or Packers? Oh, man. I'm going to go backwards. Packers for sure. And uh, Mr. Langley, I hope you've done this. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Hate that show. Okay, fair enough. Apparently that's inappropriate. Sorry, sorry. Third question or first question? Favorite KFC meal? I don't like KFC, um, but if I had to eat there, I'd get them uh, chicken or the bowls, KFC bowls with all them mashed taters in there. Okay, can I give you another package deal? Package um, deal. What, you said something about hurting your wrist, so what's the story there? Um, Martinez wants to know why middle school can't take strength, and then when do you think is the right time to put up Christmas decorations? All right, I don't think middle schoolers can take strength because you just haven't had enough vitamins, vegetables, and so keep working on that. As far as um, when can we put up Christmas de decorations? In our house, it's right after Thanksgiving. That's our kind of rule. I got to stand up for the story, though. Um, I bought this house I have in Racine right now, and I was redoing the bathtub in the bathroom, and I was holding like a hammer and I think a crowbar, and I fell backwards and slipped and landed like this with both my wrists, and I have a hairline fracture in each wrist, and I have a hard time since then. Hey, man, I, I agreed to take any question. I, I don't think I can turn it down. Does a straw have one hole or two? Oh, my gosh. I, I'm going to say two. However, I'm going to be spending many nights staying up thinking about that. So thank you for that. <laughs> two sports-related questions for you. Okay. Thoughts on the Kyrie Irving incident? And the second question? Messi or Ronaldo? Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. I don't really watch a lot of sports uh, other than UFC, so it's hard for me to get into that. Any UFC questions? Oh, 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 oh yeah, we'll tear them up. Okay, I guess this is uh, more of a request. Oh, my goodness. Can you sing a Christmas song for us? Sing a Christmas song? Hey, who was the person excited about Elvis? Was that you about Elvis? Can you do some Christmas Elvis? 
do you have a certain song? I'll be home for Christmas. All right, thank you. More food questions. Which do you like more, pizza or tacos? Uh, uh, tacos, tacos, tacos. It turns out you can live on tacos. How come a fly can fly but a mosquito can't mosquito? <laughs> um, wow. I don't know, man, but if you see a skeeter in here, kill it. Um, okay, a, a couple of people have asked about Ohio. Like whether you're scared of it and if it exists, but then also Will would like to know your thoughts on uh, rest period during school. Could we have nap time during the school day? I vote yes. Uh, so Ohio is a real place. There's a couple of famous brothers that are from there. Uh, we can prove it. As far as nap time, apparently you can take a nap in the LSE until somebody wakes you up in seventh hour and goes, hey, Flores, they're going to find you in here. So, yeah, I like nap time, too, and uh, I'd like to bring that back. I sure would. We got time for a few more here. Which is better, Marvel or DC? I'm gonna say whichever one has Thor. Whichever one that one has. That dude, oh, he's so strong, man. My wife said he's very handsome, that guy. Who? Do you think Elvis is still alive? Wait. Is Elvis still alive? Um, I don't think so. He, he died in uh, 1977. Nice. And he, I think he was 42 or something like that. He would be like 100 and something. I don't think so. Pizza in squares or triangles? Pizza in squares or triangles? Squares. And the more cheese, the better. All right, somebody give a good question, like very deep. Put me on the spot here. Make me sweat a little bit up here. I see something brewing right there. Is it deep? Let's do it. If the government mandates you to do something like wear a mask or, well, I don't want to say the other thing, do you think it's okay to do it or should you follow what you believe is true? So we really should do our best as Christians to like, Render under Caesar, render to Caesar what is Caesar, uh, follow the law of the land. Those are important things. But I got to tell you, man, some of the first rebels on this planet were them 12 people following Jesus. That was the most hardcore, radical movement ever, Christianity. So uh, I tell you what, man, there are some things I think you do need to do what's right. And um, I think we're going to find that answer out pretty soon, I'll be honest with you. Okay, Grace wants to know what is your biggest fear, and Jada asked, is respect earned or given? So some of my biggest fears, this is going to sound really weird, but this is like my brain, my psyche. I'm always afraid of letting people down, and that has given me a lot of anxiety, and I've really tried to always help people. And if I screw up, I'll feel bad for like ever. That's probably my greatest fear. And drowning. Those two things freak me out. Can you repeat the second question just so I can get that right? It, is respect, is respect earned. earned or given? 
So if you mean how do you get respect, is it by giving it or getting it? I'm not sure because I, I, I've never pursued that in a sense. I, I feel like if you give respect, that's the right thing, and you shouldn't be looking for it. That's something that you get when it's right. If the world was going to end today, what would you do before it ended? If the world was going to end, what would I do if I knew, if I had some notice? I'm going to go find my wife and tell her I love her and then try to uh, tell as many people as I can that I love them. Yeah. All right, last question, guys. Make it a good one, y'all. Last question, guys. Running out of time here. They're going to get mad at me for making everybody tardy. Hobby's got one. We got about 10 seconds here, y'all. So, if you just need one more question. Yes, sir. Who is your best friend? But then several people want to know what your favorite grade is. Like, which... Oh, man. Which is your favorite grade in the school? Um, oh, my goodness. That's a hard question to answer. But, man, I love seventh grade this year. They are amazing. <laughs> All right, guys. We do have to go back to class soon. Um, I just want to say thank y'all. I love y'all and have an absolutely awesome day, guys. Go to class.